What is up YouTube? This is Antilles Gaming here, and today we are back on Detroit Become Human. In yesterday's episode, we the story had got the Detective Dream Team back together. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot more of Hank and Connor, which I'm really excited for, because they're... They're honestly my two favorite uh, duo characters. I like Kara and Alice, but these two, like, they have, like, a good banter between each other. Like, Connor tries to be all nice and all that, while Hank just downright does not care. And I also like Marcus. Marcus is one of my favorites. I like... I like them all for different reasons. But yeah, in yesterday's episode, we saw that they are now partners. We talked to that android one final time, and then it self-destructed. We f talked more to think, his, think he's a Detective Reed. Uh, those two, like, he's just an asshole. But the ironic thing is, in real life, the voice actor of Connor and the voice actor of Reed are actually friends. Like, I saw a video, they're actually friends. But, I mean, most people in movies that, in movies and games that are enemies, they actually end up being friends in real life. But, anyway... Wait, what? Okay, so it's showing Connor and Kara. So... Uh, does that... I think that means... It's going to start with one character, then transition over to another character. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's... Why is showing both of them? But yeah. Without further ado, why don't we go ahead and get on with this episode? Now this is the Saturday episode. I wanted to just say that on I've decided that on Sundays I'm not going to post on Sundays. Because I'm going to save Sunday as a day to relax, rest, and also record the episodes. Because I used to record them on like, like I record Monday's episode on Monday, then try to post it, then there'd be problems. This way, I can get all the episodes knocked out for that week, make sure everything's working right, and then post them on to the channel as the week goes on. There will be a Saturday episode. So the only day of the week that aren't that is not going to have via videos is Sunday. Just in case like you know, just in case anyone gets on Sunday to check for a video but they don't see one, that's why. Okay, so... I think it's starting... Yeah, it's starting with Kara and Alice. Oh, They're so cute. Cut hair. Oh, they're so cute. Alice is so sweet. And honestly, just that's what it just annoys me even more knowing that she's such a sweet girl and Todd is just downright evil to her. 
slowly, slowly, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wake her up. We're the two hobo girls. You got any money for me? And yeah, I would have slept in the motel, but with cameras and every everywhere, and if people are looking for us and all that, I feel like the, like I feel like a motel would be the worst place to be because people would just be like, hey, have you seen a little girl and, uh, and an android? Oh. That, that poor android. It's like people, they were just made to do a job don't honestly don't blame the androids blame the creators I mean you don't blame you don't blame scissors whenever whenever something goes wrong like if someone like if someone's cutting your hair or something like and they accidentally gap you to where you have a huge bald spot you don't you don't say oh well it's all the scissors fault it's the scissors that did it no it's the person okay they weren't careful but yeah uh, let's go ahead and read this cyberlife is set to open the first android zoo in los angeles which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Oh, Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, several species of tiger will be among the most high profile attractions. So all those animals are extinct? Poor things. Cyberlife CSR spokeswoman Danielle Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Well, that's good. I mean, oh yeah, look, if you can see the little LED on the polar bear. But yeah, like using this as a way of saying look these animals used to be all over the place but now this is the only place you'll see an android of one but who knows maybe they have like the DNA of them and like they can clone some or something though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction for real animals it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the for the family. How can okay, I don't think they can be as real as more real than the real thing. Canada. That's where Venos is from. Despite the United States voting in its Androids Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. 
With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in U.S. economy, yet contributing to re record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for some time being, Canada remains an android-free zone. Yeah, and I mentioned uh, Vanos. Like, honestly, Vanos, Mark, Vanos, and his friends in general, Markiplier, Jack Septicai, and some other channels are honestly my big inspiration for trying to start my own. Because I also do want to do videos of me and my friends just messing around like on Grand Theft Auto, uh, Overwatch maybe, but as of now I don't have too many friends on PlayStation, but my friend is getting one soon, so whenever that happens, we will, me and him are going to try to do, like, just like, uh, little videos of us messing around. Wait, is... Is the eye on the thing blinking? It is. Like, is it blinking at the same time she is? No, no. It's just. Uh, kinda. kinda weird that, uh, there just happens to be those scissors right there. It's time to cut your hair. Snip. 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 Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Uh. Ooh, white? Oh, I like that. Blonde. That that's okay. Brown. Mm, no, that's No. I'm going to go with white because I don't know, white hair I've just always loved because I love the Witcher series, like, and I just love Siri and Geralt, but the main reason that I love Siri is just because I love her, the way her hair looks, like, I don't know, white, white hair is just something I've always liked. The two, one of the things that I've always looked at that I find attractive, like, White hair and pe and eyes, because you know eyes are the windows to the soul. Oh, am I gonna have to do what Marcus did? Ah! Uh, they put a tracking device in me. I. They will no longer be able to find me. Yeah. I tell you that is one annoying bandit. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Okay, uh Hello. I am Kara. I'm the hobo sent by this car. Check the neighborhood. Um. What about Alice? Uh oh. Johnny. Johnny. They're looking for me, Johnny. One one game that me and my friend want to do is uh, a way out. 
and I and I can't and I told him that if we do that that maybe we would record it because I feel like that would be a fun game for like to stream onto here Wakey wakey, my little precious baby. Sorry, sweetheart, it wasn't. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Come, my young apprentice. Do, and, uh, You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. And, uh, do, because of the voice I just did, the Star Wars voice, uh, I thought I should give a little brief backstory type deal. Because I've, some of my friends actually asked, why did I choose Antilles Gaming as my channel name? Well, my name is actually Wedge. Like, Wedge Antilles. So I was named after him, which is a Star Wars pilot from the original trilogy. Who And I actually got to meet him, and when I told him my name was Wedge, like, I actually had to show him my wa my driver's license, and he he freaked out. Like he said, that was so awesome, and I had a good conversation with him, and he was just an all-around amazing guy. I met him at the uh, comic convention last year. But yeah, that's. That's why the name of the channel is Antilles Gaming. <gasps> the police are on our trail. Connor. All right. That's all for now. He's the android sent by Cyberlife. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? No idea. Maybe I'll send him for money. Cause I'm Mr. Krabs. Well, of course Hank is warm. The first bus that came along. He's wearing a nice he jacket. at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. <laughs> every, every time I hear that, it reminds me of the, uh, of a remix that I saw of, like, Connor in, like, you... Like, it's, like, the you whatever in the wrong neighborhood type of thing like they did one for Connor and it was just amazing hi okay
Okay, Alice, we gotta Jason Bourne this stuff. Jason Bourne, that's Jesus Christ! Thank God the police in this town don't know how to look side to side. Don't bother with us. We're just jaywalking. Also do kind of a reaper voice. Where's your holiday spirit? Some say some say the reaper voice is good. Some say it's not. But I've never heard I've never heard it like from other people's perspe perspective. The funny thing is, Reaper is actually voiced by if you've ever seen the show, Blue from Frost Zone from Imaginary Friends, Bo voiced by the same guy. So I would always do one of my favorite lines of Blue in the Reaper voice. They won't get far. We'll find it sooner or later. It's hot. Let's go. In Topeka. Where's your holiday spirit? Like I said, some some say I do a good voice. Some say. It needs work, but like I said, I've never heard it from other people's perspectives, so I I can't make the judgment on whether it sounds good or not. Are you okay? <gasps> Is she proposing to me? I do, Alice. Alice, I do. We will have such lovely children. We will adopt. Whoa! We actually managed to pull that off. <laughs> well, what are all these? Like... Oh, there. Are, there's a lot I could have gotten, but they don't. That's the only one that connects. Okay, so I think that these two. One is staying in the house, and one is staying in the motel. The only time they all, like, intertwine is here, so I think that is, like, if I fail to sneak past the police. So I think there would have been, like, I would have been caught or I would have been chased or something. Yeah, there's there's a lot. Uh, but anyway, let's let's see what the stats are. Morning and parking lot. So twenty seven percent went to the parking lot. Find some rusted scissors. S some rusted scissors. Twenty seven percent. Cut and color hair, 27%. Huh, the majority chose blonde. Yeah, I, pr I much prefer white. I, I just love white hair. Remove LED, 27%. Find burnt android, 
Yeah, that that's just sad. It's like he didn't do anything to you. So it's like why they blame the androids for everything, but the androids didn't ask to be made. They were just made and then told go do this. Check neighborhood, 27%. Read Cyber Wildlife, 22%. Read Android in Canada, 80, 18%. Police in vicinity, 27%. Wake up, Alice. Alice. Leave the parking lot. Connor investigates the supermarket. Hello, I am Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Kara and Alice in the street. Yeah, me and Alice. We're all in the street now. <laughs> Walk towards train station. So was there, an, well I'm guessing since there's no percentage that you had to, 22% actually managed to evade the cops. And we reached the train safely. Sitting on the tracks waiting for the night train, looking on the road, ain't never gonna go back. <laughs> ah, so... Hmm. Yeah, whenever I saw that Connor and Kara were on this. I thought that it was going to be like a much bigger episode like they were going to meet. Unless if you weren't careful then I think Connor would have found Kara and then that would have triggered something. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do like an episode where I go back and I find out what these other choices are. Like, try to do, like, a completionist, uh, playthrough. But, yeah. I think that is it for this episode. So, yeah. This is going to be Saturday's episode. Like I said, I will not be posting on Sunday. Because Sunday is going to be my day to relax, rest, and then record episodes. You know, three R's. So, yeah, next episode's gonna be Monday. If you if you like this episode, consider giving consider giving a like, subscribe, and remember your comments are always benefit beneficial to me because they really help me out in the long run, so I can figure out what what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what people like, what people don't like. So, anyway, that's this episode, and I will see you all in Monday's episode.